My next guests are enjoying great success with their debut album, Nothing Matters Without Love. And with their latest single, it's a remake. You just heard it of Tanya Gardner's memorable heartbeat. Please help me welcome to Video Soul Seduction. Hello, ladies. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Now, we've been to this. This is April. April. This is uh, Dallas, and I this is Michelle. You got over it. See, I got that right this time. I mean, I can't. You're so breathtaking. It's kind of hard to keep everything in the proper perspective. I love that. Now, we're going to get into all the usual things about how you got formed together and where you, where you originated from. But, April, you had a brush with greatness. <laughs> With uh, with Donnie Simpson, years and you know Donnie's probably yeah. somewhere now watching this and saying, "Oh wait a minute, I, I don't know if I know her." <laughs> yeah, but you, uh, my you know, this is sort of <laughs> a story from uh, Brush of Greatness. Tell us about that. You you met Donnie before? Yeah, I did an internship at Kiss about mm, three or four years ago. I'm still at Kiss is the radio station that Donnie's right. program director of right. in Washington, right? And um, I used to come in around 12 or 1, but he used to leave like 10, 10.30. <laughs> no. So I always wanted to meet him. And uh, one day I came in about 10.30, and Robin, who was the music director, told me to go in and hand something to him. And I was like, oh, my God. That's Can I meet Donnie? I mean, you were how old at the time? Um, maybe 20. Oh, okay. 20. All right. And uh, I walked in the office, and he said, I said, Hi, Mr. Simpson, how are you doing? He said, oh, those are great boots you have on. <laughs> and that's it, that's all he said. That's it. How about that? Okay. <laughs> well, now we are gonna get to some of the things that, you know, I have been in radio for an awful long time, and of course, you all are new on the scene, and like me and everyone who's watching the show right now, we wanna know who is seduction. So tell us a little bit, we'll start down here on the end with Michelle, and, and Michelle, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background. Um, well, my name is Michelle Visage, and um, I did theater most of my life. Um, I did like 35 off-Broadway shows and two on-Broadway. Oh. And that's what I did most of my, I mean, all of my life since so I was I mean, Any shows that we might be familiar with? Um, Starlight Express is still running on Broadway. Okay. 42nd Street is still running. Oh. Um, and study a lot of dance as well. I mean, I had to, to do those shows along with roller skating. So um, I went to college for theater as well. And I started working with a producer who I just got recommended to and started working with him and then from then it went on to more recording and more recording and that's how I sort of fell into the recording business I was always into theater okay. so I kind of really fell All into right. it. All right, um, I was looking for a deal I, I was approached for a deal for to join a girl group about three and a half years ago and um, it, many girl groups after that fell through and uh, I decided to start uh, preparing demos and working with different producers get a deal, solo deal and I was hanging out with Michelle a lot and mm -hmm. hanging out with April a lot. So we got a deal together before we got our solo deal. So I was working, I was, st I'm st I was studying acting in New York and um, working as a bartender. Okay, and April? Um, basically the same thing. I've been singing since I was about 12. And I was working on a solo deal when I met up with like, Dallas and Michelle. And you all left out a whole lot. We, well, we got some more time to talk about. It's like I was, you know, one day you're, you're looking at Donnie Simpson's in his office, and the next <laughs> minute I was looking for a deal. So that's a, yeah. that's a lot that you left out. But, you know, one of the producers here at uh, BET and I were talking, why do girl groups come in threes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, no, we don't know. We, we were I mean, yeah. supposed to be four girls. Um, they wanted to represent. I mean, their idea, the, the producers that we met with had was um, since they loved us because we were three, we represent the three ethnics of uh, the United States of America, the major ethnics, which is uh, black, Puerto Rican, and um, uh, Anglo-Saxon white, okay. So um, originally they they said, well, w we would like to add a girl, even though, although you, girl, you guys are friends and stuff, we'd like to add a girl, we'd like to add an oriental girl. And mm. they looked and looked and they couldn't find them with, that could really they sing, sing that well. Oh, <laughs> a lot of beautiful <laughs> girls out there, but, but like, didn't no have way. the talent. And yeah, once time, you get right? the beauty, the voice goes out. And that's no. No. <laughs> so have you been in Europe yet? Or have you got any plans to, to do some international sort of uh, performing and expanding with the group? They're we planning a European tour. Yeah, we have intentions, but we haven't been across there yet okay, as well, a group. Okay, we've got some time to talk, but we're going to take a look at uh, the video for the song "You Are My One and Only True Love" from Seduction <laughs> oh, on Video Soul. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, while the video was on, I mean, I got to tell everybody at home, all three of you were kind of going, no, oh, I don't know, I wish I had done this. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, would you, do you like the video that you, you just had? <laughs> we look no a little comment. different. <laughs> well, when you can see us. Well, I mean, what, you know, you, you said you want to change. What, what do you want to change, April, about the video? 
Mm -hmm. Well, technically, I don't think it's... All that you wanted to be. Yeah. You know, it doesn't really show the whole, the group. And I wish our other video was here to the make it right. Better. It's so much this better. Like, this one is for what's on, the new one coming out. <laughs> to make it right. right. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to get that here at uh, Video Soul. And, and yeah. definitely everyone will be, you know, seeing it. All, but we're just glad to have you here in person. You know, back to your beginnings in the development. When you were all growing up and you all were aspiring to entertain and be singers, was there ever someone that you envisioned, wow, I'm going to be like her or like him, whichever, you know? Um, Michelle? I'm a collaboration. You mean from um, my childhood? Yeah, Does I mean, it have you know, to be? There, I mean, well, I mean, who's your idol? Even today, who's your my idol? My idol, vocal, vocally, is Tina Marie. Hmm. Um, Image-wise is Marilyn Monroe. Oh, okay. And... Uh, Madonna is high on my list too. Okay, great. And Alice? Um, I don't, I don't want to be like anyone. I, I admire a lot of singers, great singers. I, I love Regina Bell, Anita Baker, and um, people like that. I love Sade. I mean, if anyone, I, I guess I would like to be more like. I mean, as far as image is concerned, like Sade, and that's closest to my, myself, I guess. Yeah, and April. Um, I like the, um, the legends. Nancy Wilson, Betty Carter, uh, Billie Holiday. All right. So uh, musically, are there different types of things that you want to do? Um, basically, there's a dance sound on, on your, your new album. And so, do you have any ideas of other things that you'd like to maybe branch out into? or For the next album? Yeah. Writing and producing, I think everybody. Writing and collaborating with the producers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Having so, more of an input. And what do you see yourselves growing into? You think you girls will be here 25 years from now? Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. be welcoming seduction <laughs> to video solo. Will it be Adalas and seduction or April and seduction? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, um... I mean, you ever feel that? I mean, with a group, with three people, is there ever that feeling that one is perhaps thinking in a more individual sense? Well, each of us know that um, we all wanted our solo deals. I mean, that's obvious. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't think any of us would leave each other without a major discussion or, or really thinking about it because we're so together. I mean, there's just something about us, there's a magic that um, <clears throat> the last three girl group to capture was the Supremes and they did leave that void for us to fill and we were, God created us to be together to fill that, that void. There really isn't a super group, uh, girl group if you really think about it, except for uh, anybody that comes close is Expose mm -hmm. and um, um, we're a little bit different from, from what they are because their first album was basically dance, and then now their second album is kind of like pop and kind of like more mainstream and stuff. Our album is like mainstream, yet we're like very R&B, um, a lot of R&B roots. Our producers are very like house music, New York City, you know, R&B beats, you know. It'll never change. We'll never do like rock, rock and roll ballads. Very you know? quickly, yeah. the name Seduction, how'd you get it? Very quickly, how'd you get that? Magazines. Look into magazines. Mm -hmm. We were going to oh. call ourselves the Art of Our Seduction, seduction. <laughs> and it. That was going to be this dramatic story. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly want to wish you great success, continued success Thank to you. Seduction. Thank you. Thank you and uh, thanks for being here on Video Soul. We'll Bye. be back Donnie. with more Bye. in just a moment. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> Camelot Music.